I'm f I was frustrated tonight just with our overall just mentality defensively. Um, I don't think we really treated this game and played just with the defensive intensity and defensive mentality of what this game actually was for us. Um, our guys were ready to go um, coming into this to try to get a little bit just to show up better after the first showing um, up at their place and just really try to just play better and uh, we we were going through some stuff earlier on this year when we were up to up at their place, and uh, that definitely played a factor in that first first game. And obviously, Merritt, you got to give those guys a lot of credit. You know, that's a really talented team. Uh, Jabari Caesar, point guard, is probably uh, I mean, hands down the best point guard in this league, and probably one of the top. I think I mean, he's got to be one of the top point guards in the country. Just a extremely talented kid, and they've got some, uh, they've got some really good players. And uh, so you, you definitely got to give those guys a lot of credit. And Coach Gal is doing a great job with them, but. Uh, on our end, I just uh, I don't think we showed up and played a 40-minute game with the defensive mentality that we really needed to have tonight. And I, I just seeing our body language and just looking at the expressions, just our, in our guys' eyes and our faces as the game was going and in timeouts and when we got scored on, it, it just that life and death mentality for me wasn't there and. That willingness to do whatever it takes, no matter what, what extra possession or extra play or two-way type player stuff or loose ball, and I'm the guy getting it, or my teammate wasn't able to do it, so I'm going to make up for it. I just we did. I didn't see that from our guys um, for the full 40 today, especially um, long stretch in the first half and the majority of that second half. You know, I just. We, I don't think we were willing to do whatever it took defensively tonight and just to give every single thing we had on the defensive end. And we needed that. We needed to do that to win this game. Uh, we need to do that this time of the year. And we talked to our guys in the locker room afterwards. The, the frustrating thing, we've been doing that. Uh, we've been, like to your question, what's the, been the difference for the last little while as we've had it going? We've played with that extra edge, that spark, that grit, that toughness. That We've played with that heart. And defensively tonight, I don't think we we just didn't do it, and that was I was really disappointed and really frustrating that we just for whatever reason just didn't have it, you know. And whether um, whether one guy had it at a time, there weren't four guys behind him with the same mentality, or if there was two guys on the floor doing it, there weren't three extra guys to have everyone. There wasn't just the full collective group, you know. Balls going up on the glass, up in the air. Those guys, Merrimack, got it. They just they wanted this game more than us tonight, which was it, it, it's painful to say. You know, with what this game was for our group um, and the situation overall, that group, Merrimack, they it just seemed like they really wanted this more than us, and um, and that's what like going back, like we've been the group that's wanted it more recently. We've been the group that's been willing to do all those little things, bent over backwards twice and beyond the last couple of weeks here. And it just wasn't there tonight. And that's, uh, it's frustrating, but it's something that we've had going and uh, we got to find again and make sure that we have that here in a couple of days on Saturday when we play again. Yeah. Tough one where you thought you turned the corner and we thought we had just that, playing with that sense of urgency. And I, I don't know what it was. I don't know with the regional rankings coming out today and our guys took a look at them and thought, all right, we're in the eight spot. But didn't realize just, I, I don't know if that played a factor. I don't know if it was whatever the case was, whether we the, the meal prior to the game wasn't <laughs> wasn't what it should. I, I don't know. We just, you know what, I think the, the mentality that we've had for the last couple of weeks where we had turned that corner and got over just a little bit of that hump and turned ourselves into a really good team um, that, that's what needs to be, you know, and that's what the message from from us as our staff and the group within each other. You know, we've had accountability um, amongst our guys for the last couple of weeks, and that's it's something that we've been pushing and preaching, and that's something that, as a coach, great teams have, a really good teams. And that's preached Coach Popovich, Coach Kerr, all the greats, the Coach Stevens, you know, the, all the NBA guys and the great college coaches. That's when you have accountability from within amongst each other. That's the greatest type of coaching and accountability you can have. That's one thing when the coach holds players accountable, when the players do it. And today was me trying to get them back to trying to hold them accountable. And we didn't have it amongst ourselves, amongst the group. Um, 
and we we've been playing with that extra a little bit um, this last number of weeks, and that was that was great to see. And but today, I don't know, it just for whatever reason, it wasn't there. But we've got to you know just we got to regroup, um, figure it out, and get back. And it's in us, you know, it's it's there with our group. And um, I, I have a feeling our group's going to want to bounce back here and hopefully get back to being the group that we we were um, because we need it. That's for, like to to your point that that sense of urgency needs to be there, you know, and we've had that. So, can this group learn from it? To with what you're asking, like, yeah, because we have, you know, we, we've learned from it this year, and we've we've we won four in a row. We've we won 15 games already this season, you know, with a lot of ups and downs, a lot of things that have happened this season. That this group's got some real inner toughness that we've seen, and they've responded to challenges, and they've. They, they've proven a lot of people wrong with just what we've been able to get through and do. And um, so I, I definitely think they can learn from this because we have. We've already learned from this. So um, it's just a matter of finding that again and bringing that back and bringing it back to the table um, here on Saturday. A couple of days off and a couple of days of prep to get ready for Assumption, who, who's who been playing really well. You know, Assumption's as tough as anybody in this league. I know their record hasn't uh, been what those guys have wanted, but just uh, obviously an extremely well-coached team and just – they got a group of really, really tough guys that can shoot it, uh, and they've battled every single team tough. So um, we've got to make sure we come ready to go, and we got to make sure we come with with what we've been playing with and that sense of urgency and that defensive mentality that every single possession could be the last one of the season. And we've had that. That's why we put ourselves in position to hopefully be in this in this playoff picture, which looks like we should be. Um, but what's put us there is just that overall mentality and that willingness to do whatever it takes all the time for 40 minutes. And we just we weren't there defensively um, when we really needed to be tonight.